Welcome back! Today on Dialed In DIY, I've got a powerful way for you to get more volts out of fewer batteries. This is a great little tip that I love for projects where I don't have enough space for the amount of batteries that I need to get the voltage to get my project done. It happens to also be perfect for ramping up our power on a lot of these other projects that I've been doing in the past too. Some of these come straight off of USB and I need a lot more than the 5 volts. But before I show you exactly how we're going to accomplish getting the extra volts, I do want to show you what the baseline volts are on the battery so that you don't think that there's something wonky going on with the batteries themselves. You can see from a basic voltage meter reading that I'm using these two AAA batteries that each have 1.5 volts and they do read out at 3 volts when put together. If I take this 9 volt battery, it actually drops a little bit low and hits at 8.7 volts, but that's enough to get us rolling. Now you can make a voltage booster or you can do what I did and get online and buy one of these little step up converters. These are perfect for the kind of projects where I need to get a little extra voltage out of the batteries that I'm using. And what I really love is setting these up is quick and easy. You get a positive and negative in from your power source on one end of this little chipboard, and on the other end, you have your out positive and negative, which goes straight to your project. There are different kinds of step-up converters that you can get, and I'll talk more about that later in the video, but this particular one is adjustable. There's a little small screw here on the top, and all you have to do is twist this to one direction to increase the voltage out, or turn it the other direction to decrease the voltage out. I purchased these online for less than $2 each, and if you look in the description below, I will share a little bit more information about where I got them. To protect your project, I do recommend that you always test these out before you actually incorporate them into your project, and that's as easy as setting up a couple of alligator clips with wires and making your connections to your battery and a multimeter. Testing is especially important when you're using one of these kind of adjustable boosters because you don't want to plug this into something and then find you're popping out with about 30 or more volts to a project that really can only handle about 12. That would not be good. This 9 volt automatically jumped about double its voltage, but if you start twisting the little screw on the top, you can start getting it much higher, or you can bring it back down later if you need to as well. Hey, take some time and experiment a little bit. See how high you can get the voltage and how low you can bring it back down. With this particular setup, I got it up to a little over 45 volts. Pretty good for a 9 volt battery. I was definitely able to get more volts out of my 3 volt pack, but it's a little bit more sensitive, so you want to be careful how low you go with the voltage you're putting in. While we are getting more volts, I really want to make sure I point out that you're not really getting more power, because in the end, everything has to balance out. What the step-up converter is actually doing is cannibalizing the current that's coming in and translating that into more voltage on the outbound side. So basically what I do is I experiment a little bit to make sure that the combination of volts and amps on the inside port is enough to match to the outside port for what I need for my particular project. And if it's not, there are different kinds of options available for the boost converters that I can try as well. Hey, a simple search online can help you find a lot of options that are available to you, and many of them are even easier to use than the one I showed you in the video today. Many of them will come with preset conversions already built in, and that will be marked clearly on the product information. You can even get step-up converters that have voltage meters built right into them, which makes it much easier to work with the different adjustments. I've been having fun experimenting with LEDs, fans, and other small motors, and I'm excited to show you another project that I made with one of these in a video that will come very soon. Hey, thank you for stopping by Dialed in DIY today. I really do appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know with a thumbs up. And if you have the opportunity, go ahead and subscribe while you're here too. Want to see more like this? Check out some of my playlists and come on back, because believe me, I've got plenty of Dialed in DIY videos yet to come.